Scotiabank Hockey Tonight, and there's Elliot Friedman. Elliot. Ron Doug Waite made his NHL debut in 1991. The transition made easier by the fact that Mark Messier was there with the New York Rangers. John Tavares, 18 years later, steps in as the guy for the New York Islanders. But Waite is making sure Tavares isn't in that spotlight alone. Since that moment, John Tavares has been the great Islander hope with the organization trying hard to shield him as much as humanly possible from those expectations. For example, the team's golf tournament poster featured Josh Bailey, not Tavares. But the best decision, making sure there's a short walk between Doug Waite's home and his after a two-week trial to start the season. I could see it in his face that he didn't want, you know, he's going to go to a hotel and it's just going to be a pain and, uh, you know, we figured we got an extra room, come on in. What's the best advice Doug has given you this year? The best. Well, if he told me. Don't everything. <laughs> <laughs> a couple. Uh, he, uh, oh, my first, uh, first exhibition game, actually we were playing the same line in Edmonton, and he just told me, you know, uh, you're not going to make the Hall of Fame in your first year, your first shift, uh, in your first game, and just go out and enjoy it, and uh, you deserve to be here. Was there a low moment at all this year, John, where you came home to Doug after a bad game or a rough night, and you said, Ugh, I, I need some help here? Uh, I don't know if it was, I need some help, but uh, I almost every, almost after every game I tell him, well, you know, I, I should have did this, should have did that. Oh, he's nuts. I'm telling you, like, you can watch him on the bench during the game. Like, he could have three goals and he has a bad shift and he's on there just like gritting, you know. And Mulse is funny, Matt, he comes home, he's like, oh, Johnny was fired up today. Yeah, I know what it is. Well, you hit it. Dad, you gotta tell me hot or cold if I don't, if I find that, okay? If cold, he's far away. If he's hot, you gotta say hot, he's warmer. So when you guys do talk about hockey, what do you guys talk about? You know, things off the ice, um, you know, how to deal with certain things, and, you know, just uh, basic things when we're on the power play together or playing together on the same line, uh, just little things throughout the game. That was maybe two days of that, and then it was, <laughs> then it was, he was subtly saying, you know, Doug, when you have it here, and then he was, like, giving me instructions, and I'm, like, writing stuff down, like, okay. But uh, uh, it's really kind of revitalized me, you know, I'm chasing around kids all the time, and you kind of, as an older guy, you, you tend to give interviews, interviews saying, oh, it's great to come home to the family. It takes you away from the game. And, uh, you're probably getting a little bit of a rut that way and too far distance yourself from the game. And now I've been watching hockey and I'm uh, back. I'm feeling a little young again. I'm, you know, John's one of those special players that uh, he needs maybe a shift or two to play with a guy. And then he already knows their tendencies, where they like the puck, when they like the puck. And I always say great passers, not a guy that can always... Uh, you know, it's not always a beautiful pass or a saucer pass or whatever. It's giving the puck to somebody uh, in their complete comfort zone uh, and, and making it easy on the guy you're giving it to. And, uh, that's what he does. There's a third Islander in this mix, Matt Molson, who also lives on the property and has known Tavares for years. What's the biggest battle you guys have gotten? And you kind of smiled about it. It's been close to some 911 domestic <laughs> domestic calls. And I, in the morning, I ask, what the heck is it? It's like 100 feet away. I go, what's the racket over there? And Matt's like, uh, Johnny got his butt kicked at Xbox, so he's throwing the controller and they're screaming at each other. In junior, Tavares had a reputation for being all business, rarely smiling or dropping his guard. That's changed a little. Yeah, I've been trying to. Uh, some of the guys on the team always joke they never see me smile, so. Is he all business? Absolutely not. He, he started off that way, but rooming with me was no uh, no easy one for him, I'm sure. Uh, if he doesn't want to waste one shift in this league, and I think, uh, you know, I, I would say, you know, you compare guys like that to Sydney and, uh, you know, Alex, the way they play, these young guys coming in, uh, that are, are tremendous athletes, but uh, the love of the game is, is so high, and then, uh, you know, he fits in that category. He doesn't want to waste a shift, and, and uh, I really respect that. Barbara and Joe Tavares have handed off the job of raising John Tavares to Dougie Waite. When he was a minor hockey player, he actually played in Oakville with the minor Rangers first. Sam Gagne's dad, Dave, was also a big part of John Tavares' development with a backyard rink in Oakville.